Back and ready for another warm up today. Most of our warm up will be done on the ground. So if you'd like to grab a yoga mat or somewhere that's a little bit more comfortable for the warm up today, feel free to hit pause, switch your spot, and come right on back. What we'll be doing today, starting on our backside, is be lying on our backs, heels firmly planted on, against the ground, and we'll be starting off with some nice easy glute bridges. So as we're doing this, we're driving through the heels, pressing our hips up as high as we can and then relaxing on down. We're looking for some activation along the backside. You might feel this a little bit along your core, or in your core rather, as well. But as we're going through these, you're just nice and easy, going at your pace. We're we'll doing a bunch of different variations of movements today, and a little bit different of a warm up. We're not gonna be doing anything super fast paced, but we are gonna get some good stretching and get some good activation. And we'll still get you ready for your workout today. So we're gonna go for two more. Last one. Now let's cross your left knee over your, I'm sorry, your left foot over your right knee. And we're gonna pull that into our figure four. So as we do this, we're pulling our knee. You should feel a stretch now on the outside of that opposite hip. Now, if you're not feeling much of a stretch here, we can pull a little bit harder. Try to relax your neck as you're going through this as well. This is a variation of a pigeon pose. So if you're familiar with pigeon and that feels more comfortable for you, feel free to roll on over and hang out in pigeon here to finish this off. Again, through all of these warm ups, this is just a guideline, just things to get you started. If there's things that you would like to add in at the end or swap out, feel free. This is your warm up, so make it fit what you're looking for. Let's switch over to the other side. Now I know that one of my sides is a little bit tighter than the other, so I'm just looking to feel a good stretch on each side. It doesn't necessarily matter right now for this warm up if it's even or not. As long as you're feeling a stretch evenly, that's really what we're looking for. About two more breaths here. Turn this into some traditional sit-ups. We'll bring our hands up overhead, sitting up all the way through. If that gives you a hard time or if that's a challenge for you, we can build in some traditional crunches as well. If you're working to build into sit-ups, warm-ups is such a great spot to just get a couple in at a time. We're not doing this at a fast pace. It's not in the middle of a workout. We're not doing a lot of them. So it's a good time to even just get a few in, whether you're sprinkling a couple in, in between your crunches. That's a great spot to be in. We're gonna roll on over getting into our plank position. Plank is something that we see almost every single warm up. I'm cutting half here by the post, but you're gonna get the idea of what we've got going on. So we're gonna be in our plank, just taking some deep, big deep breaths. And then we're gonna do some step plank jacks. We're gonna be stepping our feet wide, bringing them in narrow. Stepping them out wide, bringing them in narrow. Notice as I'm doing these, my hips are remaining in the same spot. So meaning that my butt is not going up into the air. It is staying in that same position. Now, staying in plank, hold that plank position. Taking two breaths. After that last breath, hips go up into the air for a few pedals of your feet back and forth. I think I mention this every single time we do a warm up like this. I am not a yogi, but I do have enough knowledge to get us a good warm up in. So follow along with me, even if you're not familiar with yoga, I promise we'll make it through it. We're gonna go into our high plank, taking our low plank, so chest comes halfway to the ground. We flip our toes and then press our chest up. And then we'll end in our downward facing dog. Returning back into plank, chest comes halfway to the ground, flip your toes, press up into that upward facing dog or our cobra. You should feel a really good stretch to the front side of the body. Again, sending the hips on up. We're we'll taking a three-legged downward dog. So that means our right leg is gonna go straight into the air and we'll step that foot to the outside of your right hand. So if you haven't, might be having a hard time seeing, but my right hand and my right foot are directly next to each other and the back knee is dropped down to the ground. Now you might have some good mobility and some good flexibility. If you can reach your inside elbow down to the ground, that's great. I can't quite get there. I'm feeling a good stretch right here, but if you're looking for that challenge, that inside elbow can definitely go down. Stepping back into plank, chest comes halfway to the ground, flip your toes, we'll press up. This is our yoga flow. Hips go into the air for downward facing dog, a few pedals of our feet back and forth. This time the left leg goes high stepping it to the outside of your left hand. Again, noticing my hand and my foot are directly next to each other. If you find your foot back here, you can prop it up, getting a good stretch. This is what we're here for, increasing mobility, getting some good blood flow. 
So even if this feels a little bit awkward, that's okay. As long as it's not painful, uh, it might just feel a little bit different than what you're used to, and that is just fine. Working outside of our comfort zone is a really good thing, especially in the fitness world. I'm gonna step on back. We're going through that yoga flow again. So chest comes halfway down, flip your toes up, pressing into our downward or upward facing dog rather, and then going into downward facing dog. Three-legged downward dog, our right leg goes up. We'll be meeting our right knee to our nose. So getting a good crunch in the core, pressing back up, good crunch in the core. I'm gonna go for five of these per side. This is number three, four, and five. Returning to plank, going through that flow. Chest comes halfway down, flip your toes, pressing on up. Send the hips up high in a downward facing dog. This time, left leg goes high, meaning left knee to left nose, and up. Here's number two, and up, three, four, and five. As we come down onto our knees, we'll be getting a child's pose stretch. So widening our knees out to a little bit more solid base, reaching our hips back, and then letting our chest get close to the ground, reaching out in front of you. I'm feeling this underneath my armpits, along the sides of my body. If you feel comfortable placing your head on the ground, wherever you're at, feel free there. And we're gonna walk our hands over to the left side. So as we bring them to the left, shoot your right hip out, press and breathe into the stretch along the side body. Same thing on the other side. Taking those big breaths in, forceful exhales out. Even though this is a little bit slower today, you might feel a sweat rolling already, getting the hips, shoulders, everything nice and open, ready for your workout today. I'm gonna get back into our plank position. We're we'll finishing off our warm up here with some plank variations and a little bit of a plank sequence. So just holding plank right where we're at right now is our perfect spot. Take some deep breaths. Try to stick with me here the best you can. Let's widen our feet out, going for shoulder taps. This time we're gonna tap our same shoulder. So right hand to right shoulder, left hand to left shoulder. As always, we can drop down to the knees to give us a little bit more of a solid base and a little bit better of a balance. <sighs> Holding plank, going from plank to down dog. Sending the hips back, pressing our chest back towards our knees, really opening up through the shoulders. All right, hold that plank position, going for slow mountain climbers, bringing the knees up. If you need to drop down for a quick second to give your shoulders a break, feel free. I know mine are burning up, but I'm gonna try to stick with this as long as I can. Let's speed those mountain climbers up. A little bit faster. Hit that full speed for five, four, three, two, one. Let it on down. And that is our warm up for today. You're prepped, you're primed, you're ready to go. Make the most of your workout today. Really push the intensity, push the weight. Make sure you feel awesome finishing off your workout today. Come back for more. As always, if you keep doing the right things, results always follow. You're doing the right stuff today. Enjoy your workout.